Let me first and foremost congratulate one of us, one of us, I mean, in the management team, the Acting Inspector General of Police, Solomon Arase, for your appointment as Acting Inspector General of Police. Let me say with every sincerity of purpose, it is a well-deserved appointment. Not only for the management of the force, but also for the society for Nigeria as a whole. And that's meaning that I wish you well. I'm confident you will do much, much better from what you are meeting. I also want to come into myself now, thank the Almighty God for seeing me into the office of Inspector General of Police and like he said, he gives and he takes, and for also seeing me out of the office of Inspector General of Police, particularly when it is in good health. And when I can get the ovation I'm getting from my colleagues. I want to thank the President, Commander-in-Chief, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, GCFR, for that appointment and for also seeing me out at this time. Because I believe God knows best. And I want to say that I want to move on with my life, believing that life has steps and journeys. I want to move on with my life. But while I'm doing that, I also want to seize this opportunity to appeal to those who for any reason we have offended, perhaps due to lack of proper judgment, to have an understanding of the nature of policing globally. A writer, week taker in his book, The Society and Police, said, Understanding with the police is difficult because the society itself is not one. It is full of different people, different ideas, different view, uh, beliefs, who have different values. So there is the likelihood that when the policeman acts, he may be read differently. 